Hello everyone! It is I, Sakamoto, and I'm here with a new Let's Play. This is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, as you can see for the Game Boy Color. Uh, I love this game, I love Zelda. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, um, video game series of all time. I mean, it's kind of tied with Kingdom Hearts a little bit. Uh, we're gonna name ourselves Kion from Haruhi because... I don't call you Haruhi Susan yet because you can only put five letters for your name, unfortunately. So I can't put Sakamoto. Um, but yeah, I love this game and I want to play this Zelda first as opposed to either like the first one or Reckoning of Time or whatever, which I will get to eventually. Because, um, partly because I just feel like playing it and also because. I think this one kind of means the most to me in a lot of ways. I mean, it's the most nostalgic. It's the one I owned first as a kid. And I played the crap out of it and everything. Uh, and I got really far as a kid. I don't know when was the first time I beat it. But I do know that I beat it, I don't know, probably when I was 13 or 14 for the first time. So, and I've gone back to it a bunch of times throughout the years and beaten it. So, you know, played it through and all that. But anyway, like I said, I originally had the uh, black and white Game Boy version, or rather green and dark shades of black and gray, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's just get into it. Alright. Huh. <sighs> What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholland Island. Okay, so you can move once she's done talking. You just jump out of the bed. Ooh, let's look at this. Hey! Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do such a thing? <laughs> I'm just looking at it, man. Calm down. That's Terran talking to us. He's right here. We gotta talk to him before we leave, so. Well, Kion, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. That's how he talks in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> you got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. Yeah, that's why you need to talk to him. I don't even know if it lets you leave the house without talking to him. I've never actually tried. So, we're in the overworld. I mean, we could go into, like, various buildings and explore a little bit. And we will in a little bit. But first, we need to get our sword, uh, which we will do in a second. I'm um, traveling around for a second to show you guys that if you press select, you get the map. But, as you can see, you only, lock, you only unlock the parts of the map that uh, you've been to. So... You see, uh, let's see here, uh, da, 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 da. hold on. So we haven't gone left or down yet, I don't think. Did we go down? Yeah, we did. Oops. <laughs> well, we haven't gone left yet, so we can't move uh, the arrow left. But if we go over here, that little square pops up, and there it is. And, you know, that's how you unlock parts of the map throughout the game. Uh, up here we have... This guy who likes to fish, and he'll let you fish for some rupees. And I believe if you catch one of the big fish, they have a piece of heart. And that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, we're going to go get our sword. These guys, they tell you how to save right now. I don't know if they say anything different later. But they tell you if you press uh, A, B, start, and select all at once. It'll allow you to either just return to the game or save and quit. Um, what you need to do here is you need to hold your shield and push these urchins out of the way while you're holding the shield and the directional pad towards the urchins and there's your sword and this is Kepora Gepora I think is his name I don't know how to pronounce it hopefully uh, hopefully that's right hoot hoot so you are the lad who owns the sword now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently a courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. Okay, now we just have <laughs> me. He's not talking. Let's get the sword. 
You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. So now we have the sword. You can swing it around, except for you can't really get down right with it. But you can hold down the button and do a spin attack, which does allow you to get to the down right spot if you need to. It's kind of limiting, but not really because there's it's easy to get around. <sighs> okay. Where's the rupees? Give me the rupees! Oh, that little monkey's gonna throw bananas. I mean, coconuts. <laughs> bananas. Anyway... But he waits a second. Which is kinda nice of him. He doesn't immediately just start throwing the coconuts down. That's pretty cool. So, we're going to the mysterious forest. Uh... Before we do that... Oops. Hey, look, another... Okay. Give me them rupees. I need money! Ow! Stop it! Dang, I'm doing great. Screw you guys. <laughs> hey! Not very nice. Oh, and there is a something called a secret seashell here, which if you get 20 of them... Oh look, the enemies don't respawn, right away at least. Uh, you get the level 2 sword, which is stronger and can shoot lasers when you have full hearts. Which I believe is in like the first Zelda, once you get a better... I'm assuming you get a better sword in the first Zelda and it can shoot lasers too. Uh, yeah. I, have, I did play the first Zelda a little bit, but I only got, like, so far. Like, I maybe beat the first dungeon. And this was, like, way back when I was a teenager. I haven't played it since, but I do want to play it, and even the Adventure of Link at some point for this channel. And probably Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, uh, maybe Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker if we can. Minish Cap, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages. Anything beyond that? I don't know, like Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. I never played those and I'm not really interested in playing them, but maybe they'll be good. I don't know. <sighs> oh, and we're definitely going to do Link to the Past, obviously. That was like... I don't know if I actually played that one before this or not. Hey man, when you want to save... I accidentally talked to him. Just push... All the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. Uh, I can't remember if I played this one before that or not. It was so long ago. I was, you know, really young. Because, like, I went to a friend's house and he was like, Oh, hey, you want to play Zelda? And I was like, I don't remember if I was like, what's Zelda or what? But I was like, okay. And he showed me, he had Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo and I played it. And I was like, oh, man. This is one of the coolest games I've ever played. If not the coolest game I've ever played. And I instantly fell in love, so... And then it was either after that or before that that I got uh, Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. So we got a piece of heart. Uh, you get four of them, you get a new heart container. And in case you guys didn't already know that for some reason. <laughs> and each heart container uh, gives you an extra heart on the bottom right there. And adds to your health and makes you uh, live longer, basically. Er, uh, um, how to say? Please call. Outside. It seems that old man Ul Ulraya is a shy guy in person. What's it? Wait, how do you say his name? Hold on. Ulra Ulraira. Okay, that's it. So yeah, this guy, he only wants you to call him. Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? So you go to the phone, and then you call him. And this guy, throughout the game, he'll give you hints on where you want. If you're stuck, he'll tell you like where to go or what you should do. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Orira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye, click. Oh, he just explained it for us. Whatever. This shop's a little bit important. Hold on. Well, it seems that after you save, you'll start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Uh, if you get that Yoshi doll, which, let's just do that real quick. Trendy game. 
One play, ten rupees. Sorry- Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm broke! Sorry, kid, you don't have enough rupees. Come back when you have the cash. Yeah, yeah, you swindling sweezwaddle. What, whatever that means. <laughs> oh, there's a secret seashell here. I just remember that. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. And you can cut bushes and stuff like this for rupees. There's a shop. Uh, you, can, you need to get that shovel soon uh, so you can dig up secret seashells. So when you have 200 rupees, get the shovel. Uh, once you've got all the secret seashells, you really don't need it anymore. And by that point, you'll have enough hearts and rupees to not really care about being able to dig them up. Usually. Um, okay. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Popple. Nice to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me, here. Okay. Because they all look alike, even I am sometimes confused. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the trending game, but I couldn't get it. Yeah, we need to get these to a uh, Yoshi doll. The Yoshi doll, actually. There's only one. Oh, crap. Don't actually hit the dog or fox or whatever that thing is, uh, because, yeah, that's what happens when you do that. Hi! Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools. But I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. Okay, so she sings, and it sounds pretty cool, actually. Here sleeps the flying rooster. That's pretty much the whole song. She just uh, sings that on the loop, I believe. Did we get the piece of heart? Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Okay. I need to get the shovel. Alright. We're going to the mysterious forest now. I can't even afford the Yoshi doll or going fishing with the dude, so we need to get more rupees anyway. Hoot! Ho, oh, brave lad! On your quest to wake the dreamer! Welcome to the mysterious wood! Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Kohalant Island! I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave? Which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot! You got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this changes the music. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you, but... And it's a little annoying, honestly. But, it makes everything die in like one hit, so that's kind of cool. And they also fly really far away from you. Um, yeah, I need to go here real quick. I don't need that. Where are floors with cracks? A heavy person should not stand on them. Yeah. Anywhere you see that's like this, kind of weird looking, like, but kind of like looks like it might be an obvious spot for a secret seashell, that's where you're likely to find them. At least a good chunk of them. If we're short on hearts, there's a fairy that appears here. Here, I'll show you. Oh, 
Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. She fills your hearts up. Holy crap. That guy flew really far away. I think we need to go into that cave. Yeah. But we also need to go this way. Hmm. Don't hit these guys with your sword. It just hurts you. And they're not affected by it. Double, double, toil and trouble. A toastal mix makes powder for tricks. Oh yeah, actually, before we go and talk to her, uh, we need to go get the toadstool. That's right. Now I remember. Well. Oh yeah, these guys. Hold on. Dang it. You got a guardian acorn. It'll reduce the damage you take by half. That's great. So with these guys, you hit them once and then they turn into two small versions of themselves. And if they latch on you, they don't take your HP, but they make it so you can't swing your sword for a second. Which is a little annoying, especially if there's other enemies around. Oh, we can't go over there. We need to be able to jump. Which we won't be able to until after the first dungeon. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands, dot dot dot. Okay, so we need to go in here. Owie. Oh boy. You, you got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. I just want to hear the game music, not this, to be honest. <laughs> it's a little annoying, honestly. I mean, the power is cool, but you got 50 rupees. Very nice. Uh. Oh my god, make it... There we go. Uh, I gotta go find the fairy. Oh, I already got 65 rupees. Holy crap, I didn't even notice. There we go. Sorry about that little detour there. Now we can listen to the slightly boring cave music, TBH, but better than over and 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 over. There's a toadstool. You picked the toadstool. As you hold it over your head. A mellow aroma, uh, aroma, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. All right. Eh, Sixty-nine. Nice. Yeah, you can knock enemies in the holes, but what sucks about it is they not only respawn. Oh my god. Uh, but they also don't drop any rupees or hearts or whatever. Well, that's nice. Okay, so if you leave one area where the music can change, I guess it gets rid of the guardian acorn or piece of power. Interesting. Uh... 
Oh, I know where to go. No. Uh, suffering from success. Uh, I know what to do. Aha! Take that, Guardian Acorn. Okay, can we go? No, I don't think we can. Wait, maybe we can. Oh, I know what to do. Wait, do I? Okay. I got this. I have a shield and a sword, too. Aha! Aha! We're going the right way! Oh my goodness. Whatever, I'll just deal with it. Oh, it makes you go faster too, that's kinda cool actually. Double, double, toil in trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. Oh yeah, you need to put it on your item thing and then... Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up, something in a jiffy we will. It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You got some magic powder. Try sprinkling it on a variety of things. Yeah. So you do that, and then... Good job! Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some mushrooms, and I will make more. Make you more. Yeah, thanks. Alright. So now... We need to go and use this on a very specific entity, which you will see soon. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Yeah, I do love this game, despite all the random little tiny annoyances it has like that. I'm sure everyone else agrees. Um, there's also the fact that when you get a compass... Well, you'll see what happens when we get our first compass. Every single one says the same thing. Um, something like, this compass has a new feature. Um, a, a sound will go or something when you enter a room that has a key or whatever. <sighs> Wait, we're going the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> we need to go up here. Yeah, this is the entity we need to use the, uh, magic powder on. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder even tells you how to do it. Wow. The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon! Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun! That was really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is what we need. You got the tail key! You can open the tailgate! Tail, tail cave gate! Okay. Hoot! Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Hoot. Okay, thanks. So I'll go this way and not the way we're supposed to go, right? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, you gotta watch out for those. Those are called like likes and they'll eat your shield if they uh, attach themselves to you. <sighs> I've been around since the first Zelda. 
Actually, a lot of the enemies have. Octorox, Like Likes, The Paul's Voice, which is a rabbit. Uh, I think even... I'm not sure about Moblins, though. We'll find out when we go to play that and eventually, anyways. These are the Moblins. The weird pig monster things. Anyway. So now we go south to the beach. Oh, I didn't. I went in here and I didn't even explain it. This little library, you can read these books and they help you out with uh, getting through the game. If you you get an item called the Pegasus Boots in the third dungeon, and you slam into this wall back here. This is not a chest. What? You knew that? Okay. Uh, and that book falls, and I think it tells you something important. Um, we'll we'll find out when we get to that. I actually need to go this way. These are Octoroks, by the way. Oh boy. Yeah, they remade this game first uh, as Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color, but then much later for the Switch. Uh, I really want to play the Switch version, that would be so cool. Never, I've never got, I haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to play the Switch version. I guess I could watch somebody else on YouTube play it. That would be kind of cool, maybe. To sort of placate me till I can play it. Alright, this is the first dungeon. Level 1, Tail Cave. Pretty easy and short. Nothing too crazy. Oh, crap. That's the key. Or a key that we're gonna need. Wow. That's not too crazy. This will be easy. Already down to one heart. Oh man, you gotta watch out for, uh, uh pieces of power. <laughs> um, okay, here's a compass. You got the compass! Now you can see where the chests and nightmare, that's the boss, are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. That's a little annoying, but... Um, so what I was saying is, once you've killed all the monsters in a room, if you have, like, these flaming candles... They'll, it's like shooting fireballs at you or whatever. You kill the monsters and they'll stop. Usually. Well. I really wanted to try and beat this without dying. You get a special ending if you can, but whatever. Oh yeah, that boop 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 boop, that's, a, that's the key. I can't believe I just died on the first dungeon. You got a small key. You can open the locked door. I feel like such a chump. You got 20 rupees. Joy! You can see a cracked wall over there on the left. Uh, once we have bombs, which we're not going to get in this dungeon, unfortunately, we can come back in the dungeon, open, um, get that wall cracked open. I think there's a bunch of rupees in there. Wait, did you just see there's a key there? Oh, no. There's one here. You got a small key. You can open a locked door. Oh yeah, I think if you use the magic powder on these things, you get a fairy. Or not. Maybe I'm thinking about the boomerang. Which you can get much later in the game. Do, 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 do. Okay. We need the map. Um, you found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. So this guy is an owl statue. 
Turn aside the spined ones with the shield. Yeah, we know. Um, sort of. I'll show you what he's talking about later. Uh, and that little thing there, those things with the card suits on them, you need to get all three lined up, obviously. I got the clubs. Uh, it takes a little bit of precise timing, but if you don't get it on the first try, it, you, you'll usually get it after a few tries. It's not too hard. What I want to do is go back and make sure I didn't miss out on the map. Whoops. <laughs> there it is. At last, you got a map. Press the start button to look at it. Cool. Alright. So, that's the map. Uh, just shows you where to go and all that. If you... Press start and hold on select, you see a little few extra things there. Uh, in the DX version of um, Link's Awakening, uh, there's this little dude that kind of randomly appears sometimes and takes pictures of you. That's what that 0, zero out of 12 is. Uh, and the where, uh, green, uh, that'll, that'll show up later. Well, right now we have the green tunic, but there's also a red and a blue one that you can get from this special dungeon. Which is what that uh, book, I believe, has to do with in that library that we need the Pegasus boots for. Okay. Now we are ready to go this way. Oh yeah, you want to move that brick, obviously, or block, uh, and make it so that thing can't get to you. Then we can go this way. Watch out for these guys. Oh boy. You got a piece of power! You can feel the energy flowing through you! Okay, so here you just move this brick to the right, and you're good. Oh, and once you get one fragment of a stone beak, or a stone beak, or whatever, you can just talk to any of the owl statues. If there is a door that you can't open, move a stone block. Okay, yeah, we already... Oh, this is what they were talking about. They said move a, move the spined ones with the, she with the shield. Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Turn aside the spined ones with the shield. Yeah, that, he said it. Oh, these guys. Uh, if you jump on them, uh, they'll uh, leave a heart. If you don't jump on them, They'll either leave a rupee or nothing. They're like little Goombas from Mario, I guess. I can't get that hard. I wonder why. You've got the rock's feather! It feels like your body is a lot lighter. So this is a new item that allows us to jump. Simply put. And now we can get that hard, obviously. And jump over holes and all kinds of stuff. Also makes it easier to deal with these guys. If you want to get health, I guess. If you want to get rupees. You gonna slash them with your sword. I guess. Um... You can just jump over holes now. And we can just jump over this. Now wait. Every time you enter a dungeon, it tells you where you're at.
I literally left the dungeon to stop this crap music. Let's do it again. Do uh. you guys? I'm going this way. Those are those skeletons are called stealth hosts. They jump away every time you swing your sword and stuff. Obviously, they're very quite annoying. Oh, mini boss. Oh, this guy, he's got to jump over his thing that he throws. You can keep him against the wall on the other side of it. Just keep swinging your sword, and they're really not that difficult. Once he dies, he leaves behind a fairy, which will fill up your health all the way no matter where it's at, usually until you get way more hearts. And he also leaves a part, leaves behind this teleport thing. Uh, every mini boss does this in every dungeon. Or else you just simply go over here. Do I have the boss key? No, I don't. I know how to get it, though. Yeah, this is, uh, not the way to the boss key. Okay, we have one more key. Oh, yeah, I know what to do. Remember that block from earlier that had that, uh... Nope, not there. I don't even think I pointed it out, but we did enter the room that had it. There's a block that's locked, basically, that we need to get to. I believe it's over this way. Yeah, it should be. There it is. Go up to it, and the key unlocks it automatically. Go to this chest. That's where the nightmare key is. I just want to see what's over here. Okay. You've got the nightmare's key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Sounds so exciting. I'm so happy for that. <laughs> Yay, big scary boss, woohoo! Seriously, it makes you wonder how Link feels about dealing with all the crap he has to deal with. Is he like, woohoo, I get to do this now? Or is he like, ugh, dang it, <laughs> this again. Blah. <laughs> Who knows? Only Link knows, right? Uh, let's just do it. This boss isn't that difficult, right? It's only the first boss. Buzz, buzz, outsider! So what you gotta do is you gotta hit him with, uh, in the tail. Ah, he knocked me down. <coughs> Should I equip the rock's feather? Yeah, probably. Usually the item that you get in the dungeon is what you need for the boss anyway, so... Well, that happened. Yeah, each time you hit him, he goes faster, but ooh, okay, they, we got him now. Drops a heart container. And now we have an extra heart. We got our first instrument. You've got the full moon cello! Swamp. A path opens in the blooms. Now the owl's gonna talk to us. Hoot! That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. We must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north. And Kopanga Swamp. Hoot. Indeed. Okay. Okie dokie, jerky. 
Uh, I'm going to leave it at that for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And I will see you guys in the next one. But first, let's say, show you how to save you. Start, select, A and B. You go, go to this screen. You can either return to game, save and quit. So press save and quit, and you just can go back right back to the game. That number counter is the no amount of times you've died. And we've died once, as you can see. But I digress. I'm rambling, and that is that for this episode. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great.